I told you I don't remember. <laughs> well, that definitely helps the investigation. You remember so much useless shit, but you can't remember the one thing that would help us. Summer, sit down. Oh, I'm trying to make a Paul. point. It... Okay, let's just calm down for a second and refresh. I know it must feel like you've explained this to us a thousand times, but can you please help us understand your condition? Prosopag... Prosa, prosopeg... Prosopagnosia. Yeah, whatever. It's basically face blindness. I can't remember anyone's face, not even my own mother or sister. They can leave the room and when they come back, they're a stranger to me. So how do you develop a relationship with your family or friends? There's something unique about them. Something I can identify every time that I see them. Then I, then I remember it's them and all the memories that are associated with them. Like my sister, she's always had a blue streak in her hair. She keeps it that way so that when I see it, I remember who she is. That could be useful. Was there anything unique about the assailant the other night? Not that I can remember. I, he had on all black and he had a hat on, so I didn't really get to see much of anything most of the time. Let's just go through what you saw again. I heard a strange sound, like, like a scream. Next thing you know, I see this guy kicking someone over and over again behind some storage unit. It sounded like a guy beating a woman from what I could hear. She was... She was only 24. Sorry, let's keep going. Hey, so we have all this already. Everything he's been saying, we got it covered in the notes. We need to go through it until we know without a doubt if he knows anything or not. This prognosis story is probably bullshit anyway. He probably just didn't even see the guy's face. It's not bullshit. Oh, it's a fucking joke then. We've got a witness, doesn't even know what his own fucking Summers, sister. Summers, you need to calm down. What's the point? It doesn't matter what I say or do. I can walk out that door, come back in, he won't remember who I am or what the fuck I've been saying! Summers, sit the fuck down. I think it's best if we just end this interview for now. We can always call you back if there's anything else we need. Okay. Before you go, we need you to sign a few papers. No problem. Summers, can you go get those? Actually, I think they're on your desk. That's right. I'll be right back. You know, that girl you saw beaten to death, such a young girl. She just ran into the wrong man. Murder is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Hey. Your sister is about the same age. Isn't she? here, sign and date here to confirm everything you said is true. Okay, is, uh, is that it? I'd like to think it is. We'll contact you if there's anything else we need. No problem. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to worry about. Did 
don't let anyone see this time.